Starting with the user benefits, I will talk a little bit about the problems with cranes, lifts or hoists. You see, when it comes to cranes, lifts and hoists, there is always a problem. You need to make it small and uh, very tiny to get it inside the car and very large to reach out of the car. And right in front of us here we have the two best cranes, lifts or hoists in the market when it comes to that uh, specific problem. You see, the smart, small car lift 40 has an arm that is bendable so that you can make it shorter or extend it longer when it comes to getting in and out of the car. The larger 6900 has a telescopic motor that could adjust the length of it at the same time as it has one part that is mechanically adjusted as well. And I can tell you, these two cranes fit in most cars, no doubt about it, because of the smart installation fit things that comes into, in with the crane lifts or hoist in the cardboard box. And they can solve any wheelchair as well by lifting it into the car. <clears throat> so these are the lifts, cranes, hoists that you should rely on when it comes to solving your problem with your customer. If we start with the 6900, it has, like I said, the telescopic motor to get it smaller, or shorter at least, so that the cargo can come inside here. It is electrically adjustable and mechanical adjustable. It has power rotation, so that even a weak person or a very uh, yes, a weak person don't have to control the cargo because the electrical motor can control it itself. It has also, of course, electrical up and down, but one smart thing with it is that it's electrically adjustable, both the speed and the acceleration of each motor at the same time as you can adjust the deceleration of each motor. The shape of the arm here is also one thing that is very specific to this car lift 6900. Uh, we call it curbsider and that is because of the shape of it. And if I'm driving it out a little bit you can now see how crooked it is before it comes out here. But it gives you also the advantage of getting inside the car a little bit. If you have a very leaning body line that, or car um, luggage opening that is leaning very much, you get rid of the head, the lifting head, by pushing it inside the car with this length here. That makes it easier. But when you come out, You can, so to speak, go around the corner with it because it's extending it. The same length as it's folding it in, now it is extending it out over the bumper. And you can go around the corner since the rotating center is behind the arm. You can, so to speak, go around the corner. It also has a lot of mechanical adjustabilities, as you can see here. Here you can adjust the height to make it really, really small, to make it fit in a low or a rather small estate caravan car. At the rear here, can you see that? There is a screw that you can adjust the angle of the lifting head itself. By adjusting that, you can make it fit in even a round shape of the body, car body. So by tightening a little bit, it will lift it up. To follow this, the uh, shape of the cargo opening, and that is maybe the difference between getting it in or not getting it in, and I'm talking about the wheelchair. You see, we have a lot of wheelchairs that are rather big today, and this is a strong crane. It can lift 181 kilo, and that is a large wheelchair. 
So just imagine that large wheelchair here. Even if we fold down the seat, it won't become that low. And when we're lifting it up, we need to get it underneath this one, right here. And the cargo cannot be higher than the distance between that and the floor in the car. Let's drive it in to just show you exactly what I mean. As you can see here, of course, this distance here between the floor and here is the maximum height of the cargo, so to speak. But if you have it straight, and maybe this part here is touching the roof, now I have a lot of space here. But if the roof line was curvish or rounded, maybe we had a problem with the head here because we need to make it this low and still we miss a few centimeters or just a few millimeters to lift the wheelchair over the threshold. Then you can adjust it behind here of the lift head, adjust it and lift the head up a little bit because we maybe have more space right here where we're lifting it up. And then it will solve the problem with the wheelchair. Now let's take a look at the car lift 40, the smaller one. But even if it's small, it is a rather large lift crane or hoist. You see, as in the same way as the car lift 6900 could extract or retract, be longer, smaller or bigger, this one also has a hidden, so to speak, um, technique benefit. If you're going to pick up something behind the bumper, you, of course, twist it out manually. With the Teflon bearing in the bottom of this pipe here, it moves rather easy. That is something to keep in mind if you're going to sell this to a customer which is very weak. But we talk about that later. So right here, you can see the arm. It is rather long. And we can reach out quite far over a wide bumper or something like that. But in the middle of the arm, there is a joint or a hinge so that when you come inside the car, when the cargo hits the wall on the other side, you just flex the arm a little bit and it becomes shorter. And you can see now, it is a difference between nearly 25 centimeters, at least it is 20 centimeters, that you gain by uh, crook the bar or bend the bar a little bit. And even if you have a large estate and it's maybe mounted right inside that opening, you can extract it inside the car so you can reach further in and unload the cargo inside the car. And in the same way, as the 6900 could go around the corner by its crooked bar, this one has the possibility, of course, to bend the other way as well. And we go around the corner to pick up from the curbside all the way around. Other user benefits for the Carlyft 40 is the speed. I really like this crane because it has a powerful motor. It can lift 40 kilos with a single band. If you look at it, it works in a nice speed. You don't have to wait for this one. That is a user benefit. It is foldable. And it is helped with a gas shock, gas spring here, so that it's very easy to fold it down. You can fold it like this. And if you don't like that height of it, you can fold it all the way down like this and it becomes very slick, slim to the floor. And it's very easy, it nearly, with this, uh, in this angle here, you can lift it very easy up and it's almost like it's lifting up itself because of that gas shock there. 
you can also, if you don't use it in a long time, maybe you would like to take it away because it's disturbing the luggage compartment when you're going to load other things. You start, of course, by just lifting it up. And now you can see the Teflon bearing, which is in the end. And stow it away. And if you have installed it with a cigarette plug on this one into a power outlet in the rear luggage compartment, then you just unplug it. Otherwise, you need to put a connector here that is easy to detach or un unplug. You put it in your garage. And now it's only the small pipe here. And of course, it is still foldable, so you can even make it smaller. And it's a rather tiny piece. You can also mount it the other way, so you fold it into the car. That is also a possibility. And talking about installation, I will show you some really nice tricks when it comes to install both these cranes. But that is on the installation part. <laughs>